Wow, Wooly here. You ready for this one? Guys, this is the comparison video that you never wanted to see or you never really thought about. This is the Carrymore SF Sabre 45 and this is the Berghaus Centrino 45 IV FA something or other. Guys, this is a little bit of a comparison video. It's not a little bit, it's a total comparison video. Let's put them side by side, guys. Let's talk about the specifications and let's talk about what they feel like when you have them side by side. Stay tuned. So here they are side, side by side, guys. They're two very, very similar looking bags, I have to say. They are both, uh, they're both the same size, they're both the same color, and they both have black hardware on them. So they're, they're, they're very similar. Uh, now obviously this one, the Berghaus, is the front opening one, guys, but I'm not really too concerned about the front opening on, on the two bags at the minute. Okay, so they're roughly about the same price, depending on where you get them, okay? So let's, let's look at, at the specifications. So the Sabre 45 is approximately 137 pounds. That was the best price I could get it. It's 100 denier nylon with a PU coating on the inside. They call it KS100E, I don't know, with a DWR. It's got a cool mesh back and uh, the rot proof tread and reinforced stitching. And it is no, has a non adjustable back system. The Burger Centrino 45 MMPS is 131 pound. It is a hundred denier, a thousand denier armadura. Uh, it is modular, one size fits all. It is covered in pals webbing all over the place, guys. Uh, and it has an internal frame. Sorry, as does the carry more, has an internal frame, right? This is the back system. On, on on the carry more guys and this has like a cool mesh type back system so it's it's you see that there okay so it's designed to, to sort of keep you cool when you're wearing it guys to put it on same as any rucksack over the shoulder loosen your straps up here guys tighten up your waist belt pull these straps back to tight okay when you've that on nice and tight get these bad boys on and there you go <laughs> both rucksacks guys have zips on the side for attaching extra pouches rocket pouches you call them okay I'll put this one on now this one is actually loaded up at the minute with 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 my uh with my walking gear because i've been i've been using this bag a lot Straight away when you put it on guys, you can feel the difference in the padding, okay? Uh, uh, the the Berghaus buckle is, is the famous Berg buckle and to to, uh, to tighten this up, you pull these straps forward, okay? The waist straps. To I, ha I have a sternum on this, a sternum pad on this. Guys, the uh, when, when, you, when you put the Berghaus uh, bag on first, the padding feels hard, okay? It feels harder than, 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 the, than the carry bore. Okay, now, and I have worn this bag a lot, and I've done a lot of miles on it. I'm, I'm doing about 12 miles a week with this bag on me, and even though the, the, fa the padding feels hard, it is not uncomfortable, okay? And this is hard to beat. Let's, let's have a look at the back systems. Okay, the Berghaus has floating straps, guys. What that means is that these straps are not actually attached, but they, they, you, you can let these out like this. Okay, to make, to give yourself more space. I do find them, I do find that they slip a little bit. You see the way that's like that? I do find that this slips on them sometimes, so I need to tighten that up. Guys, the Berghaus has quite stiff padding, whereas the, 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 the carry more is very soft, very, very soft padding. I do not find this uncomfortable at all. I actually find this a really comfortable bag, and I'm sure that this, this is going to be exactly the same. Both of these have load lifters here to bring to bring the straps up to bring everything close. We have the same here. Both have good carrying handles on them as well. Okay. Turn this round. Let's ignore the front opening system, guys, because the both the, the front opening and the non-front opening are exactly the same in, in specifications and build. Okay, so the carry more, guys, has got these uh, these these straps on the side for cinching it down and, and taking away and making your pack smaller okay 
the Berg house does not have that, but the Berg house, no it doesn't, that's this, that's this one, on the inside of this one guys actually has something that you can pull across, but we're not going to talk about that. Both of them have axe loops, uh, and, and there's normally something here for holding on to the handle of the axe, but I have removed them because they keep falling off. Okay, there's nothing on the bottom, but the Berg house does have somewhere for a rain cover, alright? Both of them are one single internal with uh, with with a with with an extra pouch for putting in uh, what what you call a, a water bladder. Okay, the Berg house has got a very small lid pocket here. Oh, an apple! If you do want an apple, uh, guys, which which is completely fine. It works hundred percent, and on the inside it doesn't have anything else. The Berg house has got uh, a port here for your hydration bladder. Guys, the the carry more does not. Okay, now that's them, guys. That's the two bags. The main difference I have found is the padding and the material itself. Okay, when you feel the material for the Berg House, it feels much more heavy duty than the material for the carry more. Okay, now I'm not saying that this, that this is light. This just feels heavier, guys. Uh, the the padding system on the back of this just feels like it feels decent there's nothing wrong with it but it just doesn't feel as good as this it feels very light I'm sure it's very very comfy uh, th sorry this th this is this this bag has got the lining on, on on the inside of it as well to make it a little bit more waterproof but guys these are two very 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 similar bags I am going to go out here and say that this one is probably a copy in some way of this one because I know that the Berghaus bags have been knocking about for a very 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 long time going back to the to the late 70s I think okay and I think that the British PLC system is based on what Berghaus was doing back then look if I'm wrong get it in the comments and let me know correct me please I'm not perfect or am I uh, guys we have strap keepers on 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 the carry more and we have no strap keepers on on the Berghaus bag but for me, straight off the bat, guys, if I was to pick up these two bags and not own either of them, which one would I pick? Well, I have to say, I have to say, the Burghouse feels like a better bag. Feels better made, feels stronger. Uh, I, I know it's comfy, I'm, sh I'm sure the carry more is comfy as well guys, but it just feels like a more a better put together bag. It feels like it, it could take more knocks, it feels stronger, it just, and you see this? This waist belt system. The Berg buckle guys, and the ability to, to, to tighten the straps just like that that is so handy so handy like I I, I just you know I, I remember being out doing stuff and being freezing cold and stumbling with, with buckles and stuff like that and just just being like oh, trying to get tension on but this this where you just pull this forward it is so easy it's so easy I know you can change the bags over to do that but guys this is this this is what I'm saying look two two good bags I prefer the Berg House. What can you say? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Stay frosty.